Hello everybody, my name is Dean Mars, and today we're going to talk about enhancing transients to add punch to your drum tracks. Let's take a listen to a loop that I created on my electronic kit, and I'm triggering Superior Drummer. We're going to dive into the snare drum and see what we can do about enhancing the transients. These are three third-party plugins to enhance transients. Down here at the bottom of the screen is a real-time waveform display so we can see in real-time what these plugins are doing. So here is the snare unprocessed. Let's take a listen and a look at the waveform down here. Okay, now I'm going to enable one of these plugins here. I'll start with the Sonox, one of my favorite plugins to use on snare. We definitely have a result there, folks. It sounds good. It's adding a lot of punch, and that's what we want to get it to poke through your mix without using sheer volume to get your drums up in level. So let's move on to the SPL. This is a typical setting that I use and let's take a listen to it with it and in the middle again I'll bypass it. One nice feature about this SPL Transient Designer is that they have a sustain function here in the center. Instead of explaining it, I'll just let you listen to the difference. Basically, it's enhancing the, the ambience when you're adding gain to the sustain and when you're subtracting sustain it's drying it up it's taking that room ambience away believe it or not that's an effect that i use a lot on this snare i take away the ambience because i'm layering in other snares with it most of the time i'm using a minimum of two snare samples in a mix sometimes three, maybe four, but I want to get the attack, the punch from this particular snare, and when I'm laying it in another snare, it's, it's the more ambient snare, but the result that I'm looking for is something with a nice crack like this. Let's try this third plug in here. It's made by Flux called Bittersweet 2. And all these plugins essentially do the same thing. Some have their strengths and their weaknesses, but they all sound good and they all do a good job of getting some gain on that transient. And that's really what the goal is. So let's take a listen to this Bittersweet 2 and see what it's doing to the waveform. If you're using Logic 9, it ships with a plugin as well called Enveloper or Enveloper, depending on what zip code you live in. It's essentially the same thing, and it's worth checking out if you want to get your feet wet. But ultimately, you might want to spend the money and get a third party plugin, one of these transient processors here, to help add punch to your drums. And we're going to go back and listen to the loop again, my layered samples of the full kit, and I'm going to enable all three of these plugins at different times, and we'll see the difference between them.
with the flux. Let's try it with the SPL Transient Designer. And last but not least, let's try the, the Sonox here. I hope you learned something today about transients and how to add more punch to your drums. My name is Dean Mars. Thanks for watching.